Hey guys, this is a video on algorithm analysis. Uh, here we have the problem. It says, given the code segment, what will the value of X be after the loops in? So here we have the code segment or the code fragment. Um, it says X equals zero. And then we have a for loop. It says for integer I equals one, I is less than or equal to two times N, and then I increments by one each time. Uh, within this loop is another loop, the inner loop. And it goes from uh, integer K equals one to k less than or equal to three times n plus one. And then k increments uh, by one each time. And then here we actually have our x value that we're trying to solve for, and it has x equals x plus k. So what we have to do is we have to set this up um, in a more mathematical form using summations to try to solve for it, to try to solve for x. So the first for loop runs from i equals one to two times n. And then within that, within this loop is another loop. So we have another summation and it runs from K equals one to K less than or equal to three times N plus one. So three times N plus one is equal to uh, three N plus three. And then we want to solve uh, what the value of X would be. So X equals X plus K. So we have to put a K here since it's, the variable that's uh, being manipulated by this loop. Okay, so now we have set up the equation. Let's go ahead and solve for it. So you may uh, note that the summation from i equals one to n of i is equal to n times n plus one all over two. Okay. So that's just a side note. And that's what I'm about to use to solve for this. So I'm gonna rewrite this as uh, i equals one to two times n of three n plus three times three n plus three plus one all over two. And so three n plus three plus one is equal to three n plus four. Okay, so now we need to solve for this two of n here. I mean the summation from i equals one to two of n. So let's rewrite this problem again. Three n plus three times three n plus four, two. And what we're doing, we're just moving it out. This is one of the properties of summations. And I'm rewriting it not just like that. And now we can solve this uh, also using another formula. Um, that's just going to be equal to 2n. So now we're going to rewrite this 3n plus 3 times 3n plus 4 all over 2 times 2 times n. And what we can do is we can cross out these 2s. So now we get 3n plus 3 times 3n uh, plus 4 times n. Okay, and I need to make some more room. So I'm gonna erase this up here. And I'm gonna erase this right here as well. Okay, so now we just gotta do some multiplication. So now we get 3n squared plus 3n. I'm just multiplying the n over here times 3n plus 4. Okay. And I'm just going to do uh, some foiling, and we get uh, 3n squared times uh, 3n is 9 cubed plus 3n squared times 4 is 12n squared plus 3 times 3n is 9n squared, so that's 21n squared, and then plus... Um, 3n times 4 is uh, 12n. So our value x will be 9n cubed plus 21n squared plus 12n. So depending on our input size, that's what the value of x will be. And what you can do is you can actually code this up and you can see if it equals the same equation here. And it should. 
So um, thank you guys. I hope that that was useful and helpful. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.